field or whether it's at the sidelines. Right now in offense, you're thinking completion or run the ball and clock it. And they run play action. Fools no one. And Yates cuts it back. It's very near first down yardage. They'll stop the clock with 20. He got it. But again, they're burning a bunch of time here. Questionable clock management. Clock restarts. They've taken all this time and they've moved only about 12 yards closer to a field goal attempt. So now you, now you got to pretty much throw a Hail Mary down there. Yeah, I think you got to throw it to the middle of the field. You got to throw a ball that's in the 15 range down to the middle of the field, then hustle up to the field, clock it. I don't, I don't know if you have enough time, though. Well, you, honestly. you have to throw it past the first down marker each and every time or hit a guy in stride, allow him to run and go get yardage. But that's the question right now. Is this passing game developed enough? Are there enough playmakers to go get these first downs? Another short throw. Ruled incomplete. That ball bounced up into the hands of Patrick Robinson <laughs> off the hands of Drone. It did hit the ground. This would be a crushing loss for a team that, like FSU, was winless in the ACC but had a big lead on its home field. The crowd geeked up. Here's another look. But barring now a miracle completion. Oh, dang. That did that ball hit the know. ground? I don't know that it hit I don't the know. Let's see that again. Doesn't no. look like it did from there. No. I, didn't, I didn't think so live. Drone got his hands underneath the ball, popped it up, and Patrick Robinson was there to scoop it up. That should have been a pick oh, six. They, you know what? The previous play is under further review. It's going to review the goal. It's going to have to be a touchdown on this play. This is going to have to either be a bang bang sideline play, trying to get the football on the boundary somewhere near the 35, but that's pushing it. There's only six seconds left. Gates steps up, fires, it's out of bounds, and with one second to go, the clock stops. Even if that ball was caught, that's not in field goal range. Poor clock management at the start of this possession really put him behind the eight ball. I just don't see why, and, and they're lucky that there's one second. You know, here, here at home, that's a, that's a quick finger, and so <laughs> you got him at the middle of the field. You got to throw the football down deep. You know, you get a little protection. And you, if, at the end of the day, you got to get lucky on a play like this. Knowles, the three down linemen, eight men in the backfield. Final play of the game. And they sack him with three men. Marcus White finally has a sack in 2009, and it closes out a huge comeback for Florida State. They get off the canvas and get on the win column in the ACC. This is a bigger win than just winning a conference game. So you've got Florida State now 15-1-1 and one against North Carolina. And 3-4 and four on the season, 1-3 and three in the league. Any mystery about our Wrangler five-star player of the game? Ponder career high. Again, people talk about Tim Tebow and they talk about Colt McCoy and a lot of other good quarterbacks, but he's a guy that's playing just as well as anybody else out there. Given the circumstances, one of the sweetest rallies for Bobby Bowden. He's down with Aaron Andrews. Chris, thanks. Coach, you're... Wilson's got problems. Taken down way back at the 42. Well, you got jailbreak on that one. Two plays ago, we praised the protection, and the Seminoles said, not so fast, DOC. Coming after him. I mean, this is what we've been accustomed to in watching Florida State, although there seemed to be a little bit of a mix-up with the offensive line. You know, they almost blocked that almost like draw when they just kind of turned the turnstiles on it. That was, that was different. Everett don't. You got to wait and see, partner. Okay. Florida State backed up with the two. Ponder throws and gets him out of trouble in a heartbeat. Oh, boy. He long enough he held it. He's got it at the 20-yard line. Show me how you thread the needle. Forks and stepped out at the 20. Backed up. Play action. Looks right. Throws over right between the hole. No better place to throw the football. Of course, it may have got away with one on that, but uh, good play for the Seminoles. They're going to test that secondary all day long. First and 10 now, just over the 20. Thomas. To the 26. Thomas. 
Defensive play by Arnie Cole.